watch the result. Same as a week ago, but all the details are a lot better. How you feeling, and how's that team? Uh, you know, disappointed, obviously. Um, I thought we we did some really good things. You know, I just said we're, we're not disciplined enough. Um, that's the difference between our two teams right now. Not talent, not what we're doing on each side of the ball. Um, the reason they're 15-0 and and we've lost, we, we've dropped three games. Even You know, we have a good record. But we've dropped three games because we aren't as disciplined as they are. Um, and, you know, you get in a tight game, you got to be disciplined. I mean, a free throw blockout, one-on-four free throw blockout, like – we talk about that a lot. That's why it's, it's not like something that we never talk about. So it happens. It's part of the game. Like no, we talk about it all the time. Um, so that was that's disappointing. But um, at the end of the day, we gave ourselves a chance. Uh, I thought we fought. Um, and maybe even reached a level defensively that we haven't had all year. Uh, so that was encouraging. I mean, you you turn them over 15 times. Um, you know that's really solid. Uh, they, they still shot a good percentage, but, you know, we ended up getting a lot more shots than them, and that's a recipe for success for us. You know, we miss a couple, we miss a layup, and, you know, missed a, a really good look from three in the corner. Um, it doesn't go down, but um, disappointing. Uh, but I told them, like, it's everything is out right in front of us what we want to get to, and, and our bottom line is we got to get disciplined between now and, and the time we go to the conference tournament or the time we play so we, that we have a chance to beat them. Sure. Uh, Because that's what you're going to have to do uh, at some point down the line. Um, So we've got to be able to flip the page and go to uh, eastern New Mexico. We cannot have a letdown after getting up for a game like this. Coach, the the defense, let's go back to that and talk about the caliber of play. This is a squad that came in and you held them 13. No, make that 16 points below their average. You hold them below 50% shooting. Not many people do that. They're over 52% coming in. Um, there's going to be some rewards for the guys that they take from this going forward. Yeah, and they shot 30% from three. Um, and that's below. Yeah, that's way below. Yeah, uh, they're 40%. Yeah. So we, we did so we did some good things. We, we just, you know, they're good defensively too, and we just, I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. But, um, you know, we only got to the foul line four times, which that's a whole other conversation in the second half. Um, I thought we were playing downhill the whole game, but. I guess uh, they didn't see it that way. Boy, Demarcus Demonia had he had some downhill moments, and uh, so too you got uh, some thunder coming out. Of, let's see, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Demarcus Demonia, of course. Yeah, um, he got in foul trouble a little bit. Demarcus did, uh, but um, I don't know. Talk about. I don't the- got a lot of words right now. I don't really. Talk about what you did to prepare to defend their three-point line so well. Just, just try to pressure the basketball so they can't see everything. If they, like even in the first half, that when they were able to see, you know, they run a bunch of offense. They they, they constantly move. They make it hard on you. Um, and if the passer can see and put passes on target, they they can make they make a lot of shots and they shoot a very high percentage because they're they're so crisp and clean with what they do offensively. Um, and we were able to take some of that vision away, and that helps. Now the passes off target, you're not even shooting a three, um, or it's late shot clock, it's rush. So, you know, we did some good things. Um, at the end of the day, we, you know, we said it in the pregame, you got to be, you got to be really, really good if you want a chance to knock them off. And, and we were good, just not quite good enough. The way that your guys scored so much and so well off of turnovers, did you see that as something that uh, Lubbock might, that might be an opening for you? Yeah, if you can turn them over. Um, we're really we're one of the top teams in the country in transition efficiency. Um, so when we get, are able to get in transition, really good things happen for us. So um, it, that was good today. We were able to get some you know buckets in, in transition. Um, so uh, good rebounding night, Alfonso Willis. He's just a guard, but he can uh, he's got some ups, and he was finding some good ones there down low, especially in the second half. Yeah, uh, I thought he had a good game. Um, I thought we did a good job blocking out. And, and, you know, our rebounding numbers have been off, but the reason we were good tonight is because we got 15 offensive rebounds. So we put pressure on them. Um, that kept them out of transition, um, which I thought was good. And um, I'm looking at the, that now. You know, we, we, we score more of them in the paint and more off turnovers. Um, they just get to the foul line 20 times, and we get there 11. Um, that really was a the difference in the game. 
Coach, now you got to put this one behind you and get ready for Eastern New Mexico. The first time we've seen the Greyhounds in a while. They didn't get to even play last year. I got no idea. No idea. I got nothing for you. All right. You will on Saturday, though, right? Yeah. Good yeah. enough. My, my staff does a great job. Uh, Ted had the scout today. He had Lubbock, I mean, really well scouted, so we knew him. We took away a lot of the actions they wanted to, that they like to play out of, and uh, we did a really nice job of, from a scouting uh, report standpoint. Um, we just got to do better offensively, I think, uh, was really our downfall tonight. But we'll go back and look and uh, see where we can get better. And, and then we got to flip the page quick. So I told our guys, like, it is what it is. We can't go replay the game right now. Uh, we lost the game. It's over. We got to get back. And we'll, you know, we might watch a few things here from this game about effort. It's, it's really going to be effort and, and discipline, like I'm talking about. Sure. Be the only thing we'd watch. And then we got to get to Eastern New Mexico because – the end of the day, we're trying to get in the NCAA tournament. We have to find a way to win our home games, and we got to the, the next opponent uh, that we got coming in here. Ratings and polls, I know how little they mean to you, especially at this time, but it keeps coming up. The top three teams in the South Central region are all out of the Lone Star Conference, and they start with Lubbock, they go to West Texas, and then they come to Commerce. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, we really would have helped ourselves with uh, beating one of those guys. Um, but, uh, you know, I think our team can grow from it. I hope we can. Um, Got to wake up, get a good night's sleep, wake up, get ready, get prepared for Eastern New Mexico, and, and, and go play again. All right. um, and if you keep stacking those together and stacking days together and keep getting better, you know, I think our ceiling is what's exciting. Um, you know, and I'm not in other people's locker rooms and stuff, but, sure. you know, I look at other teams and I, I really think, you know, we have a chance to really continue to get better and continue to grow, which, which makes it exciting coming down the stretch. And you always have the prospect of another date with those guys. Yeah, you're not it, as happy about that. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, you got to play good basketball teams. This league's gonna be good. It's not gonna get easier every night. We just gotta, uh, you know, be able to win these close ones. All right, coach. Thank you so much. That was a dandy. Y'all did a great job. It just didn't come out the way you want, but Saturday will be another one, and we move on. You got it. Go Lions. All right, folks. Actually, I want to uh, say uh, really appreciate um, our athletic department, uh, the university. Um, they promoted. Uh, unbelievable for this game, and the community came out, and the uh, students, student athletes, faculty, staff, everybody just really appreciated it. It really gave us a home court tonight and gave us a chance to win. So um, keep coming out and supporting us. We'll try to be on the right side of the scoreboard next time. All right, folks. Goodbye from the field house. I'm Charlie Chitwood. Thank you, Jared Von Rosenberg. And for Kevin Jeffries back in the booth, that's going to do it. Lions fall 